Would you want to know how to sell your offer better? Maybe you have an offer, but your offer is not selling effectively or as well as you would have liked. So today we're going to talk about three reasons why your offer is not selling, what you can do right now, what steps you can implement in your business to find that perfect match with your offer and your audience so you can see the steps right now. So we're going to go through three major reasons why people are not buying or why an offer is not selling. We're going to talk about trust and attention. We're going to talk about offer mismatch, meaning your offer is that matching your audience and the lack of market research. So uh, let's start with trust in attention. Listen, 2024 is a little different. 2024 is a little bit different. Not only we are in this economic climate where we talk about the recession, we see increased buying cycles, but we also in this trust recession because we see a lot of professionals are in a coaching or service space business and a lot of people just having really hard time trusting other people, especially when they have less discretionary funds. So what you can do right now to build that trust, to build that connection with your audience is actually provide the value. Because gone are the days when you can just post whatever online, you can um, post vague bite-sized content and get high ticket clients in your coaching program, in your mentorship, or sell your consulting services. This episode is sponsored by my private mentorship program, Heart and Profit Mentorship Program. Listen, if you're looking for help with your offer positioning, meaning you want to sell offer that people actually want, actually need and ready to buy, you are working on your authority, meaning you want to get invited to stages, to conferences, to podcasts, because listen, not to brag, but all of my clients, all of them, yes, 100% of my clients get speaking engagements on podcasts, conferences, you name it. Also, if you're looking for help with your sales goals, um, I review your sales goals. And like, by the way, if you're not recording your sales goals, you should start recording your sales goals, just free coaching tip. So I help you with your sales goals, with your consultative sales to close more clients. Also, I heard that you are looking for accountability in a person who can help you with your mindset with um, just have a trusted advisor in your business. I'm here for it. To apply for my private mentorship program is super easy and simple. Check out the show notes if you're listening to it on a podcast or check out the description for this video if you're watching this as a YouTube video. Fill out the form. There will be a link to schedule a call with me. We'll review the form within 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. And also don't hesitate to send me a DM on LinkedIn and on Instagram, whatever platform you prefer and start a conversation with me. All right, back to the show. Those days are gone. So trust is essential and trust and attention is a new currency. So where would I, like, if I were to build my business in this climate, I mean, we are in this climate, and if I were to build my business in this climate and try to figure out what I can do right now to build the trust, first of all, it is important to uh, let people know not just what you do, but who you actually are. Not just what you do, but who you actually are. I'm not saying that you should just post personal posts like, all the time, but let people know what are your values, what is important to you. I am personal faith. For example, I am personal faith. I am personal faith, and I, faith is really important to me, but also I am rather liberal, open, and affirming Christian, and one core principle for me is faith without bigotry. I am spirit-led, I am divinely guided entrepreneur, but also I don't believe as a Christian it's my responsibility to condemn anybody. 
Also, it is important for me to close the wealth gap because what is not okay with me is to see this uh, wealth gap in the community. Because listen, if you don't know my origin story, um, 11 years ago when I uh, came uh, to the United States, Black community accepted me as an equal human being. And then I started seeing this gap, and the gap in pay, the gap in wealth, the gap, the gap in well-being between different communities. And I'm not okay with that. Also, I like to go for a walk. So every single day, I am in my stories on Instagram and I occasionally post those stories on LinkedIn as well where I show what my day-to-day -day looks like. I take my audience with me on, on the journey throughout my day. I like walk and talk. This is like, this is who I am and this is how we create trust. And also when we create content, it is important to provide more uh, value than you can actually receive. So my philosophy, when it comes to content creation, you give more than you can receive. You create this uh, public service content for people who are either not ready to invest or cannot invest or not qualified quite yet. So they can get qualified. They can get more ready. They can get quick wins as they're can consuming your content. And it's not just about creating Netflix effect. It's not just creating a show. It's about creating wins for people who are hesitant or can't really quite work with you just yet. This is essential. So the first reason you are not selling your offer is trust and attention. Trust and attention. Listen, when it comes to attention, though, uh, it's really important to know what platform your audience is at. Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on Instagram? Are they on, I don't know, like TikTok, Clapper? Like what, what platform they're utilizing as their main platform? What is that platform? Also, also, it is really important on what platform they're making my buying decision on what platform they are making a buying decision. And what is that combination of both? Because I do believe uh, it's important to have your main revenue, your main stream for uh, your marketing. Like it can be LinkedIn, it can be Instagram. And listen, uh, LinkedIn works for me really, really well. Uh, it's still like, I still consider LinkedIn one of my major uh, channels for my marketing because like uh, I see more sophisticated buyers I see more sophisticated people and also people like people tend to make better buying decisions on LinkedIn than on other social media platforms but also my people follow me on Instagram they stalk me on Instagram they get to know me better on Instagram and they connect with me on LinkedIn so what is that combination for you it's really important trust and attention Trust in attention. Now, number two, offer mismatch. Offer mismatch. This is what I mean by that. Offer mismatch. Um, let's say you might be targeting. You might be saying like, okay, you know what? I'm playing small. I'm targeting people who have the money, who want the transformation. I want to talk to sophisticated audience. I'm ready. Let's go, baby. Okay. But your solution is not matching that level of sophistication for your audience. Your offer is too elementary. Listen, if you are elevating your buying persona, your solution should be more sophisticated. You, listen, and you can't just say, hey, okay, I'm, I'm going to market PhD students, but you are selling them elementary math or preschool math, they will like, they will look at you like, okay, like, I know that, like this, the, like, this is not for me. And you are asking premium price for elementary level solution. Listen, here's the thing. Um, just information alone, just information alone, it's really hard to sell right now. Because we have chat GPT, we have AI, we, we have all of those things that can actually deliver better information than probably you do. 
But like, what is that level of sophistication that AI platforms cannot deliver? Because if you're solely in giving advice to people how to solve a problem, how to lose weight, how to get a job, how to write resume. Listen, have you tried ChatGPT for resume writing and uh, posting your resume with ChatGPT? Like that works. That actually works pretty well. My first career, co like my first offer is career coaching offer, and like honestly. For many positions, that resume, like that is actually really good. And like especially the latest and greatest um, AI updates, like they can provide those services like a lot better than resume writers in, cer in certain instances. And listen, if you're a resume writer, don't come after me. I'm not saying that ChatGPT is better than a resume writer. I'm, sell I'm saying that if you want to sell sophisticated level solution you should go above just giving advice just above the information you should elevate the sophistication of the problem that you're solving why they should work with you why they should not like google this uh, uh, problem why they shouldn't just use chat gpt or uh, go with somebody else the level of sophistication should be there or maybe you're selling more sophisticated problem, but your audience is too elementary. You have not, not, you have not attracted people who will resonate with that problem, who will resonate with that solution. So you are having problem closing them. They're like, well, like I don't know what I should do. Like I don't know why, why I should need it. Like, uh, like it seems to be complex. Um, like, I don't know, like what, 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 of, like one of the reasons, uh, like what, what, one, one of the examples, let's say you're a career coach and, uh, you are selling more sophisticated solution for leadership, right? But your audience is like, Hey, I just need a job. I don't want to be a manager. Like I just need a job. I don't want to be a manager or maybe you're a business coach and, uh, you're like, you're teaching how to scale your offer and people like, Man, that sounds but nice, but I just need my first client. Like, um, where do I scale? <laughs> so, or like you're teaching them how to hire for your for for the business, and they're like, hire. Like, I don't like I haven't I haven't made sales in ever in my business, and you're teaching me how to hire people in my business. So, like, no, it's it, it's it's not matching. So. Offer mismatch is, is like it, it is a real thing. Also, um, number three is a lack of market research. Do people actually want it? Have you validated that people actually want what you want to sell? Just because somebody else is selling what you're selling, or you saw somebody else is selling that thing that you decided to sell, it's not a valid market research. You should actually go and ask people what they wanna like, what they wanna buy, and having the right people in your network, having the right people in your ethos is essential. Because, listen, if your offer is not selling, there's there are so many moving parts. There are so many moving parts. The first moving part is that um, trust and attention, right? Like the second moving part, like does it match your audience or do you need to build your audience, right? Because sometimes you would, like sometimes we might go and jump off the cliff as entrepreneurs. We say, hey, like, okay, my offer is not selling. It's not a good market fit. No, like we go and uh, we, we go and jump off the cliff. But instead, Maybe we should work on building our community that will resonate with that offer. Maybe we should attract people who actually want what we want to sell. Maybe there are people who are looking for this solution that you are, so like, that you are solving right now. And there are people that are looking for that solution that you are uh, solving right now. And like, th listen, this is not easy. This is not get rich quick. It's a journey. It's a journey. So build trust and attention. Match your offer with your audience. 
because if you're selling how to drive semi truck toddlers, they will not understand it. They will never be able to implement that. Okay. Maybe you need to look for adults. Maybe you should stop settling for elementary level audience, elementary level clients, and start going after more sophisticated level audience, more sophisticated level clients who actually want those results, who actually will do the work and do the market research. What do they want? Who do they follow? What is the problem? What do they think the problem is? How do they normally solve the problem that is no longer serving them and how you are different? This is essential, y'all. This is absolutely essential. If you have that in your marketing, in your messaging, listen, you're golden. All right. So this is all I have for you for today. My invitation for you, if you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for ac accountability, if you're looking for somebody who can actually help you to position the offer in a way that it will resonate with your audience and help you with market research, help you to put those pieces together, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. The in, uh, invitation for my private mentorship program, Heart and Profit, is open so you can check out the link in the description notes or in the show notes and uh, just fill out the form super quick form and i would be more than happy to work with you all right later